Hey folks, welcome to Sooners on the Sticks. I'm Parker Thune. This is the OU Insider YouTube channel. And you know, we're always looking to bring you the latest and greatest in content at OUinsider.com. And I can promise you, nobody else is doing this, at least not right now. Uh, one of the first thoughts we had when EA Sports College Football 25 dropped about three weeks ago was, what if we did interviews over games of EA Sports College Football 25? So we're very excited to launch what will hopefully be a lengthy series here on this channel. The very first guest in this series is three-star Oklahoma defensive tackle commit Kamari Moore out of Lee's Summit, North Missouri. If you enjoy EA Sports College Football 25 or if you just enjoy laid-back, casual, unique interviews with a side of competition thrown in, I think you're going to love this new offering. So going to get Kamari here on the Xbox here in just a second, and we'll get it rolling. You going to play with OU? Yeah, I will. All right, that makes sense. I got to go back to my roots, man. I'm going to go with the Cornhuskers. And get this custom playbook set up. Have you done a custom playbook, or you just rock with OU's Air Raid? Uh, I customize it sometimes. Okay, I got you. We're going to play a night game. There we go. Night game at Memorial Stadium, baby. All right, let's rock and roll. Ah, one of the classic battles in all of college football. Gosh, this still is... I mean, I don't think anything quite compares to the Palace on the Prairie, but man, Nebraska is an awesome place to watch a college football game. In my game, it's unreal. Oh man, you did the uh, the Unity mashup jerseys. <laughs> The whites with the uh, the anthracite helmets and pants. That's an interesting look. I've been seeing a bunch of people rock with that uh, that jersey package. Look nice. Uh, okay, looks like you get the ball first. Uh. How good are you at this game? Should I expect to Should I expect to be in for a serious challenge, or are you going to be floundering just like I am? I'm not that good right now. I'm getting better. Okay, that makes me feel better. Makes me feel like I got a chance. Yeah, I played yesterday. Uh, I lost. I ain't bad though. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see it. Oh man, that's no good. Not a good start. I thought he was going to turn the corner and get a whole lot more than nine. I'm glad I limited the damage there. So, dude, uh, talk to me a little bit about the uh, the OV. I know that was a little more than a month ago now, but of course you've been down there. You've been to campus a zillion times at this point, but obviously the OV is where they roll out the red carpet for you. So how was that experience overall? It was amazing. I had a great time. I had a great time bonding with the recruits, with the other non-committed players, with the coaches, with the parents. It was overall a great visit. Yeah. At this point, man, when you go back down there, are you are you just mainly trying to make sure that you get the message out to the guys that aren't committed? Hey, come on with me. Yeah, I'm trying to get some. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a that's a uh, that's a pretty solid defensive line class you guys have put together between you and Trent Floyd Bucard and then Alex Shield Knight and C.J. Nixon on the edges. Um, Man, how much of that is just a uh, a testament to the trust that you guys have in Coach Bates and Coach Chavis? This is big, bro. We we building a lot. You know, this, this D line gonna be something special. Oh, give me that! Mmm. Mmm. I thought I was about to be taking that thing the other way. Man, missed opportunity. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. That's obnoxious. I thought I had you buried right there. So, dude, uh, going into senior year, obviously it's going to be your uh, your first year without 
Will on that same defensive line. For those unfamiliar, uh, former five-star defensive end Williams Winery was Kamari's high school teammate. So those two played together on the same line the last couple of years. Okay, tough start for me there. But, uh, man, there's going to be a lot of focus on you. You're going to be the uh, the focal point, I think, for a lot of opposing coaches, coordinators. Like, when they scheme for Lee Summit North, they're going to be accounting for you. Um, and you're going to be the guy that uh, they're actively trying to shut down on the defensive line. They had a game plan for you last year, certainly, but they also had a game plan for Will. So, I mean, from where you stand, man, oh, yeah. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Uh, but man, from where you stand, like what's what's kind of your mentality, mindset going into senior year, knowing that you're kind of the guy on this defensive line now? I, I just want to do everything I can for my teammates. You know, this year, this year supposed to be our year. You know, we say that every year, but we really mean it this year. You know, Mo going, we got a new head coach, uh, new defensive coordinator, and I'm a senior this year, so I really want it bad. I want it bad. Want it bad. Got to win state this year and prove to everybody that we stay, we're the same, at least some North, even though yeah. we got different. Hang on. I got to take out this. Oh, I guess I can't. I can't pause the game while it's in progress. I hate this. I've played with Nebraska a couple times. This freaking running back is not even a real person, and he's not good at all. So I always take him out now when I play with them. Uh, but man, for those that aren't familiar with the uh, <laughs> with the story, tell everybody how you guys how your guys' season came to an end last year because it was highly controversial when it happened. Uh, well, it was like I think it was third down. I think it was like third and long, and they got a pass off, but the receiver didn't catch the ball. The ball bounced off the ground. And he picked it up, and the rest called it a touchdown, and and they wouldn't review the video, so they just went from there. And there's a video on Twitter uh, that was from an alternate angle. I guess they must not have had access to it during the game, <laughs> but straight up one hops to the receiver, and that ended up being the uh, the decisive score in the game. It's it's one of those where you watch it back and you're like, how on earth did they miss that? How on earth? Did they not see that that ball was very obviously not caught on the fly? But, uh, yeah, tough way for you guys season to end. Uh, obviously, you know, you were a junior, so you get another run at it. But uh, Will and a lot of those seniors, that was their uh, that was their last game of high school football ever. Yeah. So I'd imagine there's a little bit of extra motivation up at LSN after how that last campaign went down for you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jalen Lloyd, baby. This kid, this kid, Jalen Lloyd, he was going to run high school, or I'm sorry, he was going to run college track at Florida. I think he was committed to Florida to run track. And Nebraska said, hey, why don't you come on and play wide receiver for us? And he did, and the rest is history. He's become a pretty good ball player for them. Man, uh, how are you feeling about year one in the SEC for OU? What are you most excited about? I'm excited for that, like, you know, as you see, that's where the best of the best play. I've been saying that for a long time. And I'm really excited to watch that Mizzou game. You know, I don't get to watch my <laughs> friend, my team. Yeah, well, I know. And you guys, you guys are all bros, obviously. Like, you got teammates, former teammates up there, be it uh, Will, Caden, whoever. But uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of beef between OU. Oh, man, Stutzman about ball hawked that thing. That's not good. Now I got to punt. Not a great start, uh, but there's a lot of beef between OU fans and Missouri fans. Is that something you guys pay much attention to, or I mean, is it kind of all love between you guys? Uh, it's, it's all love. Like I talked to Caden. Caden was like, he don't even know what's going on for real. Like he's confused about that. You mean like between the fan bases? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to any other. But my friends up there, they'd be mad confused about it. Yeah, you know, I think, honestly, a lot of it has to do with, did you just run four verts? Oh, and then, of course, it's freaking Sawchuck. Gosh, I got to step it up. I was not prepared for this level of competition. You uh, you undersold yourself a little bit. Um, 
but yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with obviously Caden transferred from OU to Missouri and uh, Will was down to OU and Missouri at the end and ended up picking Mizzou. So uh, whether they'd admit to it or not, I think a lot of a lot of OU fans' issues with Missouri boil down to the fact that Missouri has those two guys and they don't, which has been a hard pill to swallow. But also, Mizzou fans do talk a lot of noise on social media. Have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> Every time we get a commit, I see the comments. Trying to get the defense to show his hand. No, give me that. What? Oh, yeah, that's snap. Bro, Nick is too good. I'm about to be in a deep hole. Come on, goal line stand. Shades of OU Texas last year. That's what I need. I need a little goal line magic. Oh, yeah. Sit down, boy. There we go. Now we got a little life. Now I just got to dial something up. Man, it's been so long now. It's been over a year that you've been committed to OU. And for those that don't remember, uh, you were the first defensive commit of the entire class. Okay, third and goal from the two. I can live with that. I got a shot. But first defensive commit of the entire class. What made you so confident? What made you so ready to jump on board early with OU? Coach Bates, all the way. Yeah? Yeah, everything he do, you know, from what the players been telling me and from what Coach Venables was telling me, you know, it's just been a lot. They've been putting me in, putting me in the right direction mentally. And I feel like that when I get up there, they're going to they gonna do everything right for me. Yeah. Man, uh, of course, at the time, Caden was here. You had some, you had some ties here with the uh, teammate dynamic there. But what was it about Coach Bates and the way that he built that early relation? Gosh, dang it, man. But the way he built that early relationship with you, man, uh, what made him stand out from the other coaches that had recruited you up until that point? How much he poured into me. Like, yeah. takes me, he take up on me, make sure I'm doing good at school, make sure my family doing good. Like, he wouldn't, he wouldn't let go of me. He wouldn't go a day without texting me. Really? So he was hitting yeah. you up every single day that early? Yeah. Man. Yeah, well, no wonder because, shoot, at that point, you were just a, uh, a rising junior. You were just finishing up your sophomore year. And I, if I recall correctly, you got the offer at the spring game. Is that yes. right? Yeah, so he offered you on the field at the spring game. And then three months later, you're committed. Man, watching the class come together the way it has since then, um, what's been the most impressive thing about the way that this staff has been able to recruit in the 2025 cycle? Not just you, but guys that kind of share your vision and your aspiration for yourself and for OU football. I like how like the guys they done recruited, how they can come in and they know what we want and want how we trying to do things. Like the recruits that we have, they have the same mindset as us, you know. Yeah. Man, what is I think what does that tell you about where this program is headed, where it's at, and where it's headed, just from a cultural standpoint obviously you come from a high school program with a really strong culture uh real tight-knit brotherhood uh what have you seen what have you witnessed what have you experienced that leads you to believe that you can build something special at oklahoma uh pretty much like just like the brother standpoint of it like that's like a real thing here like even though even though we haven't even we, 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 we don't live there yet we're not on campus yet we real close like all the recruits are real close and even with the players we get real close with the players also like our players in our position uh, out of our position and even like the staff like the recruiting coordinators everybody everybody is real close and it's just it's just a big family yeah what do you plan to do academically when you get to ou you know what you're going to major in uh, i'm thinking about doing business management i might change it Man, I am taking shots on every single play from somewhere. 
If this is how OU's defense actually plays in 2024, they're going to be pretty terrifying. Because even when I have a half-decent play, I'm taking an absolute beating towards the end. Gosh dang it. Ashton Sanders. Champ Sanders, baby. Who uh, who hosted you on your official visit? Uh, G-Baby. Okay, Grayson Halton, yeah. Getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Oh, I got to dial something up here. They line up with some got to get points. Got to get points. Got to get more than points, honestly. Would love to have a touchdown. Quarterback checking the play. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We got a little life. Man, do you play when so when you play this game, who do you typically play with? Uh I play with yesterday. Yesterday I played with Mizzou, but most of the time whenever I play, I'm either using OU or or I use Clemson. Okay. I guess I should have clarified. I who do you play against? Do you got like guys that you have regular battles with on this game? Uh no, nah, yesterday I played I play with uh, one of the guy or D linemen, uh, Xavier. Oh, so, Xavier yeah. Aponu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you know him? Um, Really, like, through social media. Okay. We've been talking a lot lately, though. Yeah. Where do you think he's going to end up? I don't know yet. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully we can get him over here. Even though our class might be done. Maybe, maybe some might be open for him. All right, cut the deficit in half. Now we got a little something going. Gotta come up with a defensive stop. Be easier said than done. Oh, you got Billy Bowman back there returning. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. Gosh, I thought I was about to light him up, and then I just whiffed. I got to remind myself, like, I'm so bad at usering stuff in this game. Like, I try to user everything because I could always do it effectively in the old games. And this game will punish you if you try to user something and you are not 100% precise with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I think that's the difficulty being Yeah. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but I got to be aggressive. Ugh. I can't stop the bleeding. All right, man. So you've had the you've had the chance to play with him in this game. Obviously, we've had a little bit of an opportunity to see what he's made of in limited action last year. But level of confidence in Jackson Arnold as OU starting quarterback in 2024 and what he can do uh, at the helm of this program. I'm, I'm highly confident in him. He's been working. Like, I've been at practice, seen him at practice. He's been looking great. Oh, so. Zachek is just so fast. Like, there's just no way to stop him from getting to that corner. Getting to the edge. Oh, man. I don't even know, like, I'm kind of befuddled as to what I even call it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, get some pressure. Feels like whatever I call, you know exactly where to send your guys. Such that I don't have a defender there. Looking to pass. It's Arnold. Oh no. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Look out for the right. It was second and twenty two. It was second and 22, and I let you do that. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Got us. Well, I shouldn't say got to stop. Prevented a two-point conversion. That's something. I get the ball to start second half, right? Yeah? Okay. So, if I can make this a one-score game going into the break, I think we'll be all right. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I, I get so stressed out watching kick returns. 
I be trying to return them every time. Because like it's so it's so hard, man. It's so hard in this game to have a half decent kick return. Oh yeah. Hit the hole. You get that crease. Hmm. What am I gonna do here? Man, did you see in the uh, the preseason game the other night the new kickoff that the NFL is doing? No, I didn't get it yet. Dude, it is so whack. It's the same kickoff that I guess the XFL was doing for a while, mm -hmm. or is or has been doing, I should say. So, so like, wait, they send the runners after that he gets the ball? Yeah, so basically the way it works is, and I'll give you my very limited um, description of what I witnessed because I only saw the clip on social media. But, like, basically everybody on both uh, kicking units, the kicking team and the receiving team, they just stand still 10 yards apart. And the kicker is back there at whatever it is, like the 35 or whatever, where they kick off from typically. Oh, man. He took a beating. Uh, so the kicker kicks off, and then there's a returner deep, and the kicker like has to land the ball between the goal line and the 20-yard line. And then as soon as the returner catches the ball, then both of the uh, kicking units can start moving, but not until then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me a little targeting call at the end there. Might be a little weird. Yeah, it's, I'm hoping I keep that away from college football. Please keep that away. It is the most bizarre, ridiculous thing I have seen. Oh, Ethan Downs. He just straight up flailed and somehow got Dylan Raiola to the ground. All right. What are you gonna do here? Little better protection after the sack. It's second and twelve. He's looking to throw. Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on. Man, Stutzman is everywhere. So, man, here's a question I think a lot of folks would be curious to know, from your perspective. Because you're a you're a three star guy across the board. All the all the recruiting services have you ranked as a three star. Yeah. How much do you like pay attention to that? Some guys are super invested in it. They're like, I gotta get that four star. I gotta get that fifth star. Whatever. Some guys are like, you know what? I I don't care at all. It doesn't matter once I get on a college campus. What side of the uh, divide do you tend toward? Oh no. I I did a lot like my sophomore year, but then I realized that. That, that does that doesn't define me. That doesn't define how I play. It doesn't define the player I am. So I know I'm a ball out. So that I really don't care too much about that. Uh, I threw to the wrong receiver. Now give me that. Come on, pick it off. What are we doing? Pick that thing off. Unbelievable. It's going to be it right here. And make sure the receiver can't get it. This offense has a second down play. Looking to throw it's Arnold. He's going for it. Nope. And the incomplete pass. I'm on that one. Need it. I can force a punt here. We still got some life. I can't force a punt here. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a tough. Go up. No. Ooh, I thought he caught that for a second. I was about to rage quit. Not actually. But I was about to metaphorically, metaphorically rage quit. Um. Man, so you are like. You play this game the crazy way. And of course it works. Go for it on fourth down from your own 11 yard line. And it's an 81 yard house call. Because of course. I didn't get it. I'm not doing it. Uh, Jackson Arnold. Jackson Arnold. He a cheat code in here. 
aggressive. Throw the football. You gotta learn how to play with him. Make the big play. Get the big touch. Right, we uh, we was on a visit. What was it? I think it was like last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. So they got a the tournament. I owe you. Oh, who won it? Not I. Really? <laughs> nah. Yeah, I gotta. I had to learn how to play after that. That's how I knew I was good. Oh man. So who's the uh, who was the best? Who who eliminated you in the tournament? It's, it's crazy because he don't even play video games. I lost to Kevin Sperry and Manny Toys. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Sperry beats you. Yeah. Oh man. Those QBs, man. They're generally the types of dudes that are just kind of good at everything. Oh yeah. Unbelievable. I can't get anything going. Well, the hit on the quarterback is why that was incomplete. But that QB is lucky that was not picked off. That is the cardinal sin throwing back across. Oh, I got Malachi Coleman on the field. You know that's who I'm going to. You know that's who I'm going to. Yeah, Stutz can't catch him. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, we're going to house this, baby. Come on. That's crazy. Oh, man. I got so lucky there, but I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, so we're not completely lifeless going into the half. Got a little something going. Man, I have no idea how, A, he stayed in bounds, B, he didn't get tackled. Ah, but whatever. That's video games. Sometimes you get away with the unexplainable. Okay. Down by two scores. Gotta keep it rolling. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now. Okay. Not even gonna try with that one. Just gonna fair catch it. Get the offense on out there. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. Okay, ground and pound, baby. Ground and pound. Three yards in a cloud of dust. That's how we're going to rock it. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their... I just was afraid of you getting the watch. Probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing... Oh, really? Was it? Back in 22? Yeah, when I went to Nebraska. Oh, that's right. You all were there that day. Yeah, because I remember I uh, I ran into Coach Mo down on the field. Yeah. Yeah, I missed this rivalry, man. Yep, move those chains, baby. Move those chains. Thomas Fedoni. Okay. Are we gonna dial up here? Keep the momentum going. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism there. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. All right. All right. We're putting together a little drive here. I like it. I like it a lot. So, man, growing up in. Uh, Growing up in Missouri, obviously, was there a uh, a specific college team that you rooted for? Did you have, like, an allegiance to anybody growing up? Not really, because most of my family, you know, they like they like Mizzou. They like KU. So, we really just stuck in the middle. Yeah, so it was kind of it's kind of split between the, uh, the home state team and then the Jayhawks, because obviously they're right there. Like, Lawrence is not that far from Kansas City, so... Kind of a split deal. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. All right. Let's punch this in. One score game right now. One score game. Come on, Quinn. Oh, shoot. I thought Stutzman was about to blow me up. A little RPO here on the goal line, I think. A little RPO, wouldn't hate it. 
We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Audibling out of it. Here comes the option. Oh shoot. And he never had a chance to get the pitch off on the Probably shouldn't be running the option with Dylan Riola. He's not the most mobile of quarterbacks. Heck of an arm. But I'm looking for six. I'm not They've been comparing him to Patrick Mahomes recently. Because he looks just like him. Yeah. There we go, Fedoni. Come on now. All right, we got us a ball game. We got us a ball game. Let's go. So, man, amongst the class, because, you know, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, you've been committed a long, long time now. Who are some of the other dudes in the class that you've built really strong relationships with? Like, who are the guys you're hitting up the most, staying in touch with? Uh, Elijah Thomas. Yeah. Lee Calkins. Uh, Many choice, of course. Uh -huh. Owen Hollenbeck, Ryan Foljay, Marcus James, Marcus Wimberly. Pretty much everybody, honestly. Yeah. And we get on the game here and there. A lot of, a lot of people don't realize it, but Elijah Thomas is actually super, super active with recruiting his peers. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I lurked that, and I still whiffed. I should have had that thing picked. So, like, obviously, I think people see Elijah as one of the quieter dudes because he's not that active on social media, doesn't do a lot of interviews, doesn't really put himself out there all that much. Outstanding football player, but just not a guy that's in the public eye as much as some of the other dudes in this class. But, like, especially as a recruiter, What's what's Elijah like when you get to OU? You're on a visit with him. You're hanging out with him. What's he like in that setting? He energetic. He's real energetic. Oh come on! Somebody get me a pick. Yeah, he one of the most energetic ones. Oh, all day, baby. Give me that. Okay. Uh, All right, let's tie this thing up. Don't pick it right there. Let's knot this thing up. I like it. We got some life, baby. Had some doldrums in the first half, but now we're coming alive. Oh, there we go. There we ooh. Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. I can't even tell you how many games I've played through what? How many weeks has this game been out? Three weeks? Where I'm in a groove like this and I just do something stupid offensively and all the momentum's gone because I turn it over. Something like that. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. It's complete to oh, right, shoot. Good. He's really close to that first down marker. Oh, third and two. The guys at the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. you got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust okay. in the pass game. I think we got a good play call here. You're doubling my outside receiver. Okay. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. We're picking that up. Oh, we might be housing that. Come on, Dylan. Get there, baby. Okay. I just got to punch this thing in. Punch this thing in, and we're back to square one. Oh, yeah, free play. He's got the offense knocking on the door inside the opponent's 10 yard. And the defense I'll take it. First and goal from the one. To defend. They are back up right on the doorstep. There it is. No, I got lucky. <laughs> Sprint to the finish. Got what, seven minutes left in the game? Six and change. May the best man win. So, dude, when you're uh, obviously, you know, you're. 
First and foremost, you're a football player. I think that's what anybody watching this knows you as. Uh, in their eyes, that's that's what defines you primarily. But now for those, oh, am I about to get? Thank you, Jalen Lloyd, for saving that for me. But for those that only know you as a football player, man, when you're not on the gridiron, what are you up to? What does life look like for you when you're not in football mode? Uh, probably here with my, my family chilling or with my girlfriend or maybe even just catch me making TikTok. I'll be on TikTok a lot. Really? Yeah. You make them or you just watch them? I make them some. I make, I make a lot. I ain't gonna lie. Really? <laughs> Yeah, what, kind of, what kind of TikToks are you making? A lot of football TikToks. I be dancing sometimes. Okay. Who's the best dancer in the class? Probably, probably Malik. Really? Malik's got yeah. the moves? Yeah, Malik. I'm going to tell him you said that. He'll be glad. To, he'll, be, uh, he'll be appreciative of the recognition, I think. Yeah, either Malik. Me, me, of course. Or, <laughs> of course, Grayson. Oh, Grayson Harris. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Took a shot. All right. We got us a tie game. Man, that stupid random touchdown right before the half from Malachi Coleman. That looms very large here. Just can't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Don't get burned. Oh, I got that thing blanketed. No! Again, I tried to use her that, and I should have just... I should have just let the CPU handle that one. Defense is a lot about communication. Multiple wide receivers on the same side. I got to understand... If this guy's going in, this guy's uh -oh. coming out. Not a good job by the control. is tweaking on me. Yeah, mine too. I don't know what just happened. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay, there we go. We're fixed. We're back to normal. All right, need a goal line stand. Are you trying to run the jet sweep? Is that what we got going here? Dialing up a little jet sweep action? Oh, no. Okay, just straight throwing. No, sir. What? Unbelievable. I should have eaten that thing up. Going for two again, huh? Got to. Riverboat gambler. I don't hate it. I respect it. I respect it. The records that they put up with the Sooners, man, it's impressive. And this guy having himself a day, spreading the ball around, touchdown. Man, you love that little orbit motion action, huh? I do it every time. <laughs> I've, so I've noticed. Okay, we can take the lead. Got to put a drive together. How are we going to start this off? How do you think we're going to start this off? Run the rock, baby. Run the rock. Oh, come on. Come on. We're in the open field. Let's go. Let's roll. All right. Run the rock. Run the rock. Straight downhill. That's what's up. I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Looking for a man. It's Rayola. Oh, come on. Get to the edge. Get to the edge. No, Trace Ford. Trace Ford got dreadlocks? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. 
I guess Chase Ford got red locks. Alright, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Oh shoot, you're blitzing me, huh? Oh yeah. No! No! Yeah. Four from three. Okay. Got to dial something up. This might be ball game right here. I got to get that line. And even though the running back is able to do something positive on that third down play, it's just too many yards to gain, and now they're forced to punt. It's a one-score oh, game lead, and they've got to go part. for it on fourth down. Uh-oh. Looks like Kamari dropped off. Well, shoot. I guess we'll have to get him reconnected, hopefully. It's a tight end. Tackle was made, but not until he gets the first down. I don't know if his phone died or what. But in the meantime, we will keep the action rolling. <sighs> Game winning drive. Hopefully. In an ideal world. Oh, shoot. Sent the backers through the gap. Okay. Something positive there. I'll take it. I'll take it. I played a game with CJ Colden a couple weeks ago, and that dude is freaking good at this game. He absolutely shellacked me. If it were that type of game right now, I'd just skip to the end. But I'm in the middle of a potential game winning drive. Exact same play? Sure, why not? Alright, Kamari. You got an answer for this? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I like this taking the safe play, getting the positive gain, and seeing if you can build some momentum. And I think it's making the right play, Reese. That, that's what quarterbacks it up through the air. Too aggressive, and then they get behind the sticks. It ain't broke, don't break it. A lot of space. We'll keep Take it going. Of it. Get it to my running back. Let him chew we'll that drag. Now it's easier on the next down. Oh, Steps yep. Away to find All day. Room. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some room. Okay, first and goal. First and goal. It would be really funny, given OU's issues at the position in recent years, if this game came down to a field goal attempt, which it's going to. At this rate, if I score, that's probably what it'll come down to because he won't. He's too smart to score immediately, which he probably could do on me if he really wanted to. Man, he must be having some Wi-Fi issues at the crib. Dropped off the Zoom call. And now he's struggling to stay connected to the game. They keep pushing forward now back to work on second and goal from the six. Oh, he's connected again. Look at this. Yeah, my phone, my phone died on me. Oh no, wrong no throw. Way. No, no! <laughs> I threw to the wrong receiver again. Gentry. Oh. And of course, it's Gentry both times. Oh man. And I had the guy. I had the guy in the end zone. What on earth? That's the dumbest thing. Like. There ought to be some auto override in this game where it's impossible to throw the ball 50 yards cross field, basically laterally. Unbelievable. Yes, sir. I was knocking on the door, about to take the lead, and not only did I not take the lead, but in one fell swoop, all of a sudden I'm down by two scores. Hey, you was close, darn. I got scared. I got scared. I'll tell you that. And send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Wow. 
That was terrible. That kick was nowhere in the vicinity of inbounds. <laughs> All right. Bombs away, I guess. A minute 19. Yeah, it's not happening. I'm going to need an onside kick. And in, at least in my experience, onside kicks are freaking impossible to recover in this game. How is Chase or how is Trace Ford chasing me down? It's a freaking running back. And he's chasing him down. Oh, yep. Move the chains. Move the chains. Get out of bounds. I like that. Twenty for twenty six. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's just there's two stupid picks where I threw to the wrong receiver both times. I don't think the pressure is going to get to these guys. This is when it's fun. Late in the game, down one score. Gotta have it right. Jerry King. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big leads. Even down the road. We gotta move quick. We gotta move quick, boys. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. Just get out of bounds. Just get out of bounds. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Screen pass just not working there. You figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be go, a baby. blitz. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Jalen Lloyd. Be nice shot. to me. Be nice to me. Billy Bowman. And that's all she wrote. Let us see it. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or have yeah, them getting a W. Yeah, and listen, this this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do oh. something, keep chucking and keep scoring. I'm here yes, for this. That is tough. I was down 28 to 7. I came back, tied the game up. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was And then, no, oh, you want to give you want to give me that back? No, nope. okay. <laughs> I'm still under the impression that every single time there's a ball in the air deep, I can go user pick that thing. But I can't. I need to learn that because I need to stop trying. I need to get on the gauntlet. That's what I've been doing. I've been on the gauntlet for the longest. Oh, yeah. Bro, what? That was beautiful. That's just salt in the wound. Wow. Looking to throw. He's into the end zone for the two mm. and extends the lead. Alright, man. We got six seconds left in this contest. Um you've obviously won convincingly. Congratulations. Well done. Uh if there is a closing message that you want to share to the Oklahoma fan base. What would that be? Whether it's about you, this 2025 class, year one coming up in the SEC, whatever it might be. One more play to um, the stats. I don't know, really. I, I love our fans, honestly. We, we, probably, we got some of the best fans out there. They support no matter what. Like, they, they really die hard fans. But, um, you know, we hear one in the SEC. We need everybody at every game we can possible. You know, support, support them. You know, hopefully, hopefully we have a great season. We will have a great season. You know, we need other fans to be there. Well, Kamari, I'm sure the people appreciate hearing from you. I appreciate you being willing to jump on. I do not appreciate the smackdown you laid on me, but I will have my vengeance at some point. Uh, but man, you take it easy. Uh, get yourself ready for senior year. When do you guys start practice? Uh, we we uh we start our normal practices after the dead week, which is this week. So next week. All right, and you and all the boys at least Summit North, I have no doubt, are going to be real anxious to make a run at a state championship, which would be the first in school history. So. Best of luck, man. Uh, I'm eager to get up there and watch you guys on a Friday night at some point soon. Yes, sir. Well, 
I have been humbled. Another big thank you to Kamari, nonetheless, for jumping on with us. If you liked this video, if you liked this format, let us know in the comments if you found it interesting or if you hated it. Like, I, I'm legitimately seeking feedback here. So if you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, never want to see it again, let me know. I welcome your feedback either way, as do we all at OUinsider.com. Again, this is the OU Insider YouTube channel. I am Parker Thune. I'll see you next time with another edition of Sooners on the Sticks.